Okay, uh, eel, it's full of small bones, so what do you have to do with the eel? You sort of grab it for the head and then squeeze it all the way, all the way to the bottom. Oh, my God. There you go. Oh, you so, know the sound. Yeah, <laughs> so, so the small bones goes all the way down to the tail. So there's still a bone in there. There's still a bone in there that's going to bring the flavour to the, to the dish. So which bones went down into the tail? Just the small side bones. Yeah. Coral trout. This is one of the most prized fish in Australia. Head is the best part of the fish, of course. Oh. It makes great soup, or if you put it in a brodetto, it's really, really nice flavour. Rock flathead, it's a beautiful fish. Cut the fish on a cutlets. So what are you gonna do? We're gonna marinate the fish just with a bit of garlic and olive oil. Fresh parsley. I'm also gonna put some scampi through it because uh, It'll give different aspect to the to the brewet. Bring some sweetness. Mussels too. So keep this marinated for a couple of hours. We're gonna just sprinkle the fish with a bit of uh, lemon. So this will keep the fish whole. The flesh tend to stay in one piece. I didn't know that. It's just a really good Australian olive oil from Gippsland. First we start with the garlic. Before we start to brown, we put onion. So we just sweat off the onion until uh, it's nice and pale golden color. Uh, you can put some tomato in it, you don't have to. Deglaze it with a bit of wine. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some fish to it. No mussels, mussels go last. Now we put salt and pepper. Now we add some white wine again. Also need some uh, seafood stock. So it's basically seafood stew. The trick is you shouldn't put too much water in it. If you put too much water or liquid, it sort of uh, lose the flavor and it's not like a chicken or beef that you can reduce and get a flavor back. If you put too much water at the start, you can't fix up the flavor. Mm. It has to be done at uh, this stage. Brew it, we don't stir, we just shake it, because if you stir the fish, you're gonna end up with uh, all broken pieces of fish. Towards the end, we're gonna put some mussels, because mussels doesn't, don't need much to cook, and uh, they're the best when you just cook a couple of minutes, just to make the dish more colorful and uh, more beautiful. Boil it very fast to combine all the flavor, make emulsion of oil and, uh, and the flavors. Because to me, that's too high. But you're saying no, that's, no, that's that perfect, makes it because olive oil just melt, emulsifies with the with the liquid and uh, yeah. it sort of creates like a creamy sort of texture. It's beautiful. You'll oh. see. You'll see. And just to make it more presentable and uh, appetizing, we're gonna put some cherry tomatoes. While it's cooking, we're gonna make some polenta. For the bread, we're just gonna cook it in the water and a bit of salt. So just whisk polenta while the water is boiling. Very, very simple to cook. It really looks so impressive. If you want to try it. I want to try some eel and some polenta. Some polenta. Oh. Don't forget the sauce, because sauce is the most sauce important. Sauce is the most important. Yep. Mm. Tastes nice, isn't it? It is fantastic. Yeah. The world needs to know about that. <laughs> it's a beautiful dish. It is a beautiful dish.